quick, but um, I've really been concerned about this, okay? So, what's going on? What am I concerned about? Well, I'm concerned about children, for one. So, I postulated that children did not have receptors that are the same as adults. So I went and Google Scholar and I looked it up. I looked at a few of these articles and I looked at it. And basically what I surmised from all of this is that children have uh, receptors that are different from adults. As you get older, your receptors change. As you're exposed to more things, your receptors change. And they were saying in here that people that have uh, that smoke or have health problems or take certain medicines uh, wind up having more receptors right here um, expression of they call it the SARS-CoV receptor really ACE2 is basically angio it's, it's a receptor within your system throughout your body um, on your epithelial cells so what do we know right now? I'll tell you what we know. We know that uh, there are feeds of news, right? And you're like, well, how do I sort all this stuff up, out? I'll tell you something right now. Personally, I um, decided to take a break from my dissertation and go ahead and fin finish off my digital uh, masters of science and I got two more months left of that so I'm just gonna take you know break from the dissertation and go ahead and finish this up <clears throat> and I'm taking a class on the digital marketing and I learned how uh, press releases go into the news so when you're getting a news article right what happens is very often they'll have what's called pay pay to play so let's say you want to have a news release about something like the Delta variant somebody will write a news release article and then they might go to a, a place like let's say Newswire there's a whole bunch of them of these sites and what they do is the digital media sites will distribute a story but some of them you have to pay a lot of a lot of them you have to pay sometimes they'll give you one or two free press releases so they have pricing okay so this is why a lot of the news stories look similar so how do you get the get to the truth right how do you discern the truth with these viruses, right? Well, this is where science comes in and math and all this other stuff. So math doesn't lie. You know, you count the numbers, and this is why I'm concerned. Right now, where I live, there's an 11% positive rate of people with COVID, right? Now, in my area, it's about 49% people with the double vaccination but even with the double vaccination this Delta plus variant has changed how it spikes uh, how it attaches into the humans and it's it's changing to be to live you know to live longer and whatnot and it's spreading easy more easily now I was trying to get the numbers and I was looking at them on and off all day while I'm doing my homework and what I'm seeing is that I feel like Biden needs to get on this a little bit more I feel like he's too focused on vaccines and not focused enough on um, raising awareness with the public about what's going on. Now, Trump got on on a regular basis and he had his task force 
and uh, they'd get up there and speak regularly to people about stuff, and he, Trump would get up there and give his opinion, and of course they'd cringe because he's not a doctor, and he's putting it in layperson terms, and and some people are like aghast thinking or misunderstanding what he's saying, so... I would have to say that because the receptors on this are different and it's spreading uh, pretty fast, in my area they're saying it's spreading as fast as it was at the peak. And they're not overwhelmed. My, my area hospitals never got overwhelmed, but I don't know where you're at. And the problem I'm seeing um, is that across the United States, the federal government does not have national standards for counting and for testing okay so here's the problem you get CVS or some of these chains, the medical chains and they set up criteria for testing, but they want to set it up so that they can make as much money off of this as they can. So unless somebody has knowingly been exposed, they're going to have you come in for an office visit in their minute clinic. And, you know, so of course businesses in a capitalist society are going to figure out how they're going to squeeze the most money out of even a pandemic, right? That's capitalism at its finest. The government is taking sometimes a laissez-faire capitalist attitude, which is not the same thing as a, a particular party. Capitalism is considered an economic theory. And this is one of the downfalls of this virus that's going around because... What's happening is that people are politicizing something that's not political. But why am I comparing Trump to Biden? Why am I saying, hey, Trump got up more and he had a task force and he was visible. He was, he was doing press releases. He was getting up there. He was doing impromptu speeches. And we all know how they went. So, if Biden gets up here, and look at this, see this? This is July. This is going up. We're in the middle of August, okay? Children in the hospital. Now, as far as natural immunity goes, uh... I will tell you right now, you have two immune systems. They bifurcate them. And children's immune system, you have your innate immune system, which is the immune system you're born with, and then the acquired immune system, okay? So as you get older, you get exposed to more germs. You get inoculations, which is vaccines. Your body has the germs introduced, it recognizes them, and it knows how to fight them off, right? Well, children don't have as much of an acquired immune system as adults, unless, of course, they're vaccinated and or exposed to germs. So what I, I'm suggesting here is that... I think that we can do better than this, okay, in the United States of America. No offense to anybody in any other countries or even in the United States. But I feel like, you know, this is serious illness and that we need to be careful. And I don't even understand. School opened up in my area and they have a 10% in this area, it's 10%, or, or the state is 11%, this area is 10% of all people's being tested are positive and the hospitals are filling up and they're filling up with children and um, schools open they are telling uh, parents to, 
to uh, use masks and children, but I don't know how that's going. But, you know, does he have a task force? Get up and talk to people? I don't know. I haven't seen anything lately. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic and he's acting like, uh, I want to I want to build the infrastructure plan. He's just going to leave the plan that Trump had in place and then, you know, not do anything else except for focus on vaccines, vaccines, vaccines. This is the big pro Oh, here. Here it is right here. Is this today? No, this is on uh, August 3rd. He needs to get out and, and make more statements. This is a very different variant than what we've dealt with previously. It accounts for 80% of COVID cases in the U.S. today. It could get worse before it gets better. And you can look at this if you want. It's on the White House website for the August um, 3rd. You can run a search on their site, like if you go on the menu. But yeah, no. What's, what's really concerned me is in the United States we have something called states' rights. And so there's this hodgepodge way of counting. So even if you see these figures that are coming in uh, from different places, the figures are based on um, they're based on data that uh, right here John Hopkins says differences in positivity rates. So the state of U.S. testing, uh, by, Trump had a meeting uh, on on this pandemic. He had a panel of people explain, you know, why is Korea having a lower rate and why America, and they explained how we have antiquated reporting systems and so on and so forth. I was following this a lot in, when it first broke out, and it doesn't seem that they've really updated these. In the U.S., there's no federal standards for reporting of testing data. There's also no standards I mean, it's like free market economy. You've got to have checks and balances. How are you going to measure these things? We need math. This is very hard for scientists to compare the data if the data is not consistently prepared in the same way. I, I was speaking earlier about the, uh, the Beige Book and the economy and how they they count the economy, how they count uh, inflation and stuff like that. And I'm going to talk about it more in another video. But this is the thing. Government needs to update some of these things. They need to work on some of these things. And um, so policy decisions like opening and closings, interstate travel, shouldn't be determined based on test positivity alone. Okay? You can go to the, the Hopkins Coronavirus Resource Center. And um, so what I want to tell you right now is that we're in another serious state of affairs here. And I, I don't, you know, they're, they're releasing these press releases on COVID. Let's go run a quick search. And I don't know, you know, who's at the helm. I think there's a lot of people that are concerned about investments and money. We really shouldn't put people before money. People are concerned about their freedom. It's a small pr price, price to pay if we all drive on the same side of the road, right? Oh, I hate these laws. The law's telling me I have to dr drive on the right side of the road in the United States. and In the UK, it's the left side. Well, if we all didn't follow the rules, what would happen? The rules are there to protect us. It's not about freedom. I'd like to be free to 
railroad people, you know, that kind of thing. <coughs> so what I'd like to, to just leave you with is the fact that if you... I'm sorry that I'm sounding uh, upset, but you know, if you look, even if you look at these confirmed cases, uh, one of the things you're going to see is you're going to see differences in the reporting. And it's like, how do you know what the truth is, right? Well, some places don't report on the weekend. Some and how they're collecting the data. How are they collecting the data? What is the criteria? And look, they're they're emphasizing, well, look how many people we have vaccinated. Vaccination is not a hundred percent ever, ever in any any vaccine at all. Polios, mumps, measles. There's going to be a certain percentage of breakthrough cases. Oh dear, that's not good. Three Broward County, Florida educators die. This surge is preventable. Do you see this? So what I'm trying to tell you guys, get being forewarned is being forearmed, okay? Forewarned, forearmed. Highly contagious, wash your hands. If you can, you know, this is the thing. It can get in your eyes. It can attach to your hair. Take a shower. After you go out in public buildings where the doors are closed and there's not a lot of air ventilating. Be meticulous, and you will be very happy when you get away without catching it. Anyway, that's my opinion, and I hope everybody's okay and nobody gets sick from this, but, you know, it's just positivity above 5%. The World Health Organization says we do not want to be above 5%. And this is the last seven days. 30 states are not reporting the values needed to calculate their positivity type. 30. 30 out of 50. People are traveling to and from to states and places. Anyway, guys, stay careful. And I hope, I hope you, you do well. I mean, just try to stay safe. Take care. Bye.